गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू क्लास इलेवेंथ बायोलॉजी वंस अगेन आई होप यू ऑल आर परफेक्टली ऑल राइट एंड स्टे होम चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर इन क्लास इलेवेंथ बायोलॉजी दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर एट सेल द यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी सिंपल चैप्टर यू हैव स्टडीड इन क्लास नाइन्थ ऑल्सो सेल ओके सो चिल्ड्रन सेल इज द स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ वाई वी आर सेंग और हाउ कैन वी से दैट इट इज द स्ट्रक्चरल और फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ बिकॉज ईच एंड एवरी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम इज मेड अप ऑफ सेल ओके सो दैट्स वाई वी कैन से दैट the cell is the structural unit of life okay and why we are saying it's a fundamental unit of life because all the task performed by the living organism is due to cell okay the cells are divided to form the tissues tissue when grouped together they form the organ and organs when are interconnected with each other they form organ system okay and organ system to organism so all the task that are performed by the various organ or organ system that is made up of cell okay the the organ and organ system and they perform the various function so we can say that it is the fundamental unit of life okay so in last we can say that cell is the structural and functional unit of life okay in cell children first of all we'll take the introduction in introduction children biology that is a branch of biology that deals with formation structure and function of cell okay so basically cytology a term that we used the study of cell okay the study of formation structure and function of cell a term that is cytology but with the introduction of many new and powerful tools and techniques the study living organism at cellular and molecular level the expression cell biology is currently used okay previously we are used the cytology but nowadays cell biology that is a correct word uh, expression for the study of living organism at cellular and molecular level okay clear so cell biology that is a scientific discipline that deals with the cell the physiological properties their structure and the organelles like endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria golgi apparatus ribosomes okay like the various organelles they contain their interaction with the their environment we study in cell biology okay children i repeat once again the physiological properties and their structure the organelles they contain and their interaction with their environment okay this done in the branch of biology that is cell biology okay clear about this now children uh, the research okay in cell biology that is closely related to the genetics biochemistry molecular biology immunology and developmental biology these are various branches of biology like genetics like biochemistry 
molecular biology immunology and developmental biology okay so the research of bio cell biology that is closely related to the other branch of biology also okay now in cell biology children first of all we'll start the study of discovery of cell the discovery of cell is done by the robert hook in 1665 okay robert hook is the name of scientist that study the dead cell that discovered the cell in 1665 in compound microscope okay the robert hook they have take examine a very thin slice of cork and saw a multitude of tiny pores that he remarked looked like the walled of compartments okay and they give the name cell okay children so robert hook they discovered the cell but dead cell in 1665 okay now after that another scientist uh, children the robert hook publish a book that is micrographia in london and they give the description of cell their description their discovery about cell in micrographia okay after robert hook the new scientist that is antony von leeuwenhoek has came and they have done some improvement in the microscope and they observe they observe the live cell sorry live cell uh, of bacteria protozoa red blood cell sperms okay actually he took the scurf scurf from the uh, the rain water uh, they mix with it and they saw the mobility in the rain water and after that uh, by the use of their uh, microscope they see the uh, the cell of bacteria protozoa okay in them and later they also saw the blood cell sperms cell in the beginning of 1648 okay so antony von leeuwenhoek that is discovered the leaf cell okay children now next one that is robert brown the another scientist that has came and they discovered the nucleus nucleus they contain the genetic material dna or rna okay and dna that is responsible for store the characters okay the genetic characters okay so robert brown the name of scientist okay he is he was the scottish botanist in 1831 they discovered a small rounded uh, body within the cell of orchid roots later they have given given a term that is nucleus so the discovery of nucleus is related to the robert brown and they have done in 1831 okay children another scientist that is uh, hugo von mol and parikinje hugo von mol and parikinje they discovered the protoplast that is the living matter okay so he go von mol and parikanje they discovered the jelly like substance in the cell that is protoplast in 1839 so some discovery that we are discussing today that is the introduction about the cell okay now next children that is cell theory cell theory was given by a german lawyer schleiden and 
श्वान ओके श्वान एंड स्लाइडेन श्वान दैट इज जर्मन जोलॉजिस्ट एंड द स्लाइडेन अ जर्मन लॉयर ओके दे हैव गिवन द सेल थ्योरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्लाइडेन कंक्लूडेड ऑल प्लांट्स वर कंपोज ऑफ सेल्स ओके एंड लेटर द श्वान concluded the same about animals and they also said that both plants and animals are made up of cells and they have a nucleus within the cell okay so cell theory that is given by the schwann and slidein but later Rudolf Virchow they have done some improvement they have discovered some new points regarding the cell theory and they said that all new cell must be come from pre existing cell okay so the first point that is given by the schwann and slidein all plants and animals are composed of cells and rudolf virchow they have added a new point in cell theory that is all cells are come from pre existing cell okay they have given a latin phrase that is omnis cellula 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 a cellula okay the meaning that is the cell that is made up of pre existing cell okay virchow that is referred to as the father of pathology okay and they have given that is the cells that are made up of pre existing cell okay children another scientist that is louis pasteur he is also known as the father of microbiology they conducted an experiment on the cell and they prove that the life originate from the pre existing life okay the life always uh, originate from the pre existing life this is demonstrated by louis pasteur is the father of microbiology okay next uh the cell theory is also known as is also known as the cell doctrine or cell principle and it states the following points first of all in spite of enormous diversity of living organism all organism are composed of one or more cell okay the first point that is very simple all organism all plants all animals that are composed of one or more cell okay those are made up of one cell is known as unicellular and those are made up of many cells that is known as the multicellular okay second cell is the structural and functional unit of life okay third cells are also have hereditary units okay because in cell the nucleus is found and nucleus have dna that is store the hereditary character so that's why we can say that cells are also hereditary units okay clear Uh, the chemical composition and metabolic activities are also takes place in the cell uh, life next point life passes from one generation to the other generation in the form of living cell okay that means the cells that arise from the pre existing cell okay clear about this children in last will conclude the following points regarding the cell theory the cell theory that is given by the schwann and slidein later rudolf virchow also add some points 
एन सेल थ्योरी सो एन सेल थ्योरी All organism are composed of one or more cell. Cell is the structural and functional unit of life. They also have hereditary units, and all cells that arise from pre-existing cell. Okay, clear. Next, children. Cell as the basic unit of life. as i told you it is a structural unit because each and every organism living organism that is made up of cell okay so there are different level of organization a group of similar cell that perform the specific function they constitute a tissue okay for example muscle or gland when several tissue that combine together they form organ okay organ like brain heart stem roots when two organs or more organs they work together they form organ system okay like nervous system circulatory system excretory system so we can say that children the cells that is basic unit of life and it is the structural unit of life and there are different level of organization okay properties now last that is the properties of cell cells are highly complex and organized cells are capable of producing more of themselves cell acquire and utilize energy cells carry out a variety of chemical reaction okay that is metabolism takes place in the cell cells engage in numerous mechanical activities cells are able to respond to the stimuli and last that is cells are capable of self regulation okay so this is uh, the introduction we have taken about cell like what is uh, uh, what is cell theory and the name of the various scientists that involved in the discovery of cell so Uh, only the introduction that we have taken about cell today will continue this topic in the next video i hope you have learned properly what we have discussed thanks for your kind cooperation